Did you know that Alaska comes from the Inuit word Alaksha, meaning mainland? And what a mainland! Alaska's as big as 400 Switzerland's. It has five mountain ranges, three million rivers, and valleys! Whoa! It certainly is cold. I remember you once told me to embrace the cold when we were skiing in Switzerland. Well, I'm ready to give it a bear hug with my new Alpine X5000 parka, guaranteed to keep me warm down to minus 50. Look, it even has a built-in compass so I won't get lost. Most impressive, Willard. Uh, but Duckton Lodge is this way. Whoops. <laughs> well... At least I've come prepared to enjoy the great outdoors. Oh, I wouldn't mind a little of the great indoors right now. It was very nice of the Drakes to invite us to their lodge. They even mentioned something in their letter about a surprise. If you're well prepared, Auntie, there's no such thing as surprises. We thought we heard your plane land. I'm Arnold Drake, and this is my wife, Vera. Gracious. What's wrong with that young duck? Uh, this is my nephew, Willard. He seems to have been startled by your polar bear. Mm, mm, I'll fetch him a nice cup of tea. Oh, Willard, you don't have to worry about old Percy. Oh, he's just a prop from a movie that was shot here. Nothing but fake fur and soda stuffing. Check this out. His jaws really move. <laughs> Oh, oh, help, will help, look at me, I'm grizzly bait, oh! Oh, stop your kidding, Arnold. Here's your tea, dear. Drink up, that's Alaskan strength. It'll grow feathers on your chest. <laughs> Want something to chew on with that? A piece of chocolate would be nice. Maybe, uh, a chocolate eclair? Come on into the tundra room. We've got plenty of good eating there. I can't tell you how happy we are that you accepted our invitation, Miss Mallard. <laughs> Please excuse the mess. Arnold's just finishing carving and painting some frames from my needlepoint. Why, they're lovely. I see you like to work the yarn, too. Yes. In fact, my project tonight is to knit a scarf. I I'm afraid I forgot mine at the Anchorage airport. Oh, don't bother. I've knitted dozens of scarves for our guests. You're not the only one to come unprepared. See, Auntie? It's all in the preparation. Here you go, boy. Dig in. That's... Uh, that's an eclair? Nope. Better. Vera's homemade all chocolate baked Alaska. I'll even put some chocolate sprinkles on for you. Mmm. Very, very tasty. Mm. Ooh, cold. Ooh, hot. Mm. So, Miss Mallet, what do you think of our new tundra room? Can't beat that view, huh? Oh, you certainly can't. Most majestic. You say it's new. Uh, what was here before? It was just a mess hole for miners, loggers, and hunters. But a couple of years back, the Dufton area was made a wildlife preserve. So, we spruced up the lodge for tourists. We don't make as much money as in the old days, but we make up for it in pride at helping our environment. Uh, oh, I think I'll go out for a little hike. Work off some of that delicious baked Alaska. Ooh. Ah, Alaska! Wolves! Think, think! Wilderness Tips, Chapter 4. Wolves will rarely attack, but if you're in danger, adopt an aggressive stance and, um, furiously beat your wings. <laughs> and above all, show no fear. Flap and, and show no fear. Flap and show no fear. Flap and, and, ooh, ah! Ooh. Ah! Show no fear. Show no fear. <laughs> okay, there, boy. <laughs> That's enough. What's that noise? That's our uh, little surprise. Our big tourist attraction is the annual Duckton Dog Sled Race. It's gotten to be so big, we have to do time trials. And we'd be deeply honored if someone as famous as you would launch tomorrow's time trials and the big race Saturday. Ooh, well, I I'm most flattered. I launched a ship once. But never a dog race. Some of the teams have come to practice on the course. Let's go meet them. 
Easy there, Nina. Let that poor old duck up off the snow. Uh, sorry about that, mister. Nina gets a little excited sometimes, but she don't mean no harm. That's okay. Huh? Ah, oh, I've got dog slobber all over my Alpine X5000 parka. Hey, Willard, you should be proud Nina likes you so much. Well, she's a champ. She's led Ben here's team to three straight victories. She's sure to win this year, too. I've never seen her so frisky since she had her pups. Nice doggy. Well, I better clean this off. I hope it didn't damage the patented X5000 thermal damp barrier. Where are those darling puppies, Ben? Right over there. That's McKinley, Sitka, and Gnome. Oh, they're absolutely adorable. Ben Scoter, I'd like you to meet Miss Marjorie Mallard. She's going to launch the... They ain't beating my team this year, Ben. With Killbuck leading, I could hitch up those pups of yours and still win. <laughs> and a good day to you, too, George. That's George Scott. He and Ben have a sort of... um. <clears throat> Friendly rivalry. Whoa! Great tundra! One of Nina's pups been dog napped. Ow, you little mutt! Sheriff Ruddy Duck, calling Sheriff Ruddy Duck. The Totem Avenger has struck <gasps> again. Oh! Who is this Totem Avenger? A kook dressed up like a totem pole who's been terrorizing the town for months. He demands revenge for some mysterious wrong. He's just been awful. Salt in the rink before the hockey tournament, painting revenge all over the side of lovely Mount Duckton. But this is the worst yet. Imagine, dog napping one of Nina's pups. And what has Sheriff Ruddy Duck done about these attacks? Nothing. You can count on my vote, Arnold. Arnold is running for town, Sheriff. The polls open after the big race. Okay, everybody, settle down. Will all witnesses please step forward in an orderly fashion and tell me what they saw? What? Uh, what's going on? Like I told the sheriff, the Totem Avenger skied in, snatched the pup, and vanished into the woods. It was Gnome, the girl pup, by the way. I'll put out an immediate all-points bulletin. You what? Ooh. Hey, someone's been drilling here. Well, that's expressly against the Wildlife Preserve Ordinance. That's one of the holes for the lodge's putting green. The last time I heard, golf wasn't against the law. Oh, right. Well, like I said, I'll put out that bulletin. Don't worry, we'll nab this Avenger yet. Sheriff Ruddy Duck's been promising an arrest for months, while the Totem Avenger's attacks just get bolder. Yeah! At least Arnold invited the great detective Miss Mallard to come and work on the case. Is this true? No. Yeah, it's one of the reasons. But we still want you to launch the time trials and race. We just thought that someone as famous as you would never consider a little mystery in a faraway place like Duckton worth your while. Every case is important to me. I wouldn't say little mystery either. This one is as big as Alaska. We'll start investigating at once. Willard, please examine the crime scene for clues. Do you have any idea why the Totem Avenger would want to dog map Gnome? The only thing I can think of is sabotage. Nina's not going to be in any shape to race till she gets her pup back. Who might benefit from having Nina out of the time trials? What's the matter, Mutz? Lost your little sister? Maybe the driver of the next best team, George Scop. What? Are you suggesting I'm the Totem Avenger? I was with my dogs when he struck just like you. Yeah? Well, maybe you hired him. Them's fine words, buddy. Put up your wings. Now, now. Little gnome will never be found this way. What is it, boy? You want me to follow you? Okay. Now you're Sitka, aren't you? What have you got there, McKinley? The Totem Avengers mitt. 
Good boy. Huh? There you are, Auntie. You really shouldn't go off into the woods all alone and unprepared. Don't worry. I had Nina's boys with me, and they dug up some clues. That looks like part of the Totem Avenger's wings. I think you're right. We'd better get back to the lodge. The fastest way is north by northeast. Come along, Willard. Hmm. It might be from one of the local gift shops. Try Jed Berganzer's place. It's called Welcome, or Grizzly Outfitters is just over there. Excuse me, uh, could I please speak to, um, Grizzly? You're looking at her. How can I help you? I was wondering if you sell mittens like this one. No, I'm sorry. I don't carry handicrafts. Only the latest in rugged outdoors wear. Say, is that the new Alpine X5000? <laughs> Why, yes. Yeah, yes, it is. <laughs> oh, it's even got the emergency tent repair kit. It does? I've got just the backpack to match. It converts to an emergency sled. Wow. Ahem. Uh, could you please tell me where I might find the welcome gift shop? Down valley, hang a left. The snow's pretty deep, though. Feel free to borrow a pair of snowshoes while I attend to this customer. Go on ahead, Auntie. I'll catch up. This might come in handy in our investigation. That's it. Just three more steps. Oh, my. Nice moose. Uh, sorry, I can't stay. Really must be on my way. Ah, stupid moose. Gracious, what was all that about? Hey, no snowshoes in the shop. I run a tidy place here. Oh, excuse me. Uh, are you Jed Merganzer? Yeah, what of it? Do you sell mittens like this one? Nope, no money in mitts. Only carry quality stuff. And if you're trying to sell your knitting, forget it. I ain't buying. Nobody's buying from me. Your shop certainly looks popular. Was once, back in the old days. But now that totem avenger is spoiling even the tourist trade. Pooey! That's who I'm looking for. He's just dognapped a little husky puppy. Hey, good luck to you. Can't do no worse than Sheriff Ruddy Duck. Sometimes I think he's the Totem Avenger. Never see the two of them in the same place at the same time. Here, pin up your business card if you got one. Everybody does. But nobody buys. Huh. Why did Auntie go around? Whoa! Would you mind giving me a wing and undo that buckle? Of course, Willard. What a predicament. Moose tracks. So that's why he wouldn't let me through here. He was warning me about this trap. Oh. Sorry, Willard. I, I didn't mean to... The Totem Avenger! Why, he's trying to start an avalanche! Grizzly said this trap turns into a sled! Let's go! Whoa. Did, uh, briefly mention anything about how to steer this thing? Yep, you can't! And that's the next model of the BP Conferno 6000! Okay, drop flippers right! That was some pretty nifty avalanche dodging. I should give you guys a speeding ticket. Need a lift? You were very lucky to see a moose, Miss Mallard. They're just coming back in this area. It was very strange. I'm sure he wanted to warn me about that trap. And I want to look into that. Snare traps are a violation of the Ducton Wildlife Preserve. Ah, oh, Sheriff, uh, jotting down hot leads on the Totem Avenger? You no, know, um, about a moose. Well, better get back on patrol. See ya. Yeah, see ya. At the polls. Now, let's get you two in front of a roaring fire. 
And will it? Want some more of that Alaskan eclair? Oh, no, 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 no. We must get to bed early. Uh, there are the time trials tomorrow, and we still have little gnome to find, and a totem avenger to catch. Vera and I organized the first Dupton dog sled race, and now we're proud to say it's bigger than the one in Anchorage. <laughs> So, why do you fellas yell, mush? Whoa! Whoa! Don't say that word. Sorry. Just seems kind of silly. Any sillier than giddy up? Today's time trials determine the positions for Saturday's big race. And right after, I want everyone to vote Arnold Drake for town sheriff. Kindly get off my snowmobile, Drake. You're not Sheriff yet. Sheriff Ruddy Duck hasn't caught the Totem Avenger yet. Well, that's, uh, a top priority. And I'm sure we'll have a case in the break. I mean, a break in the case soon, and... But let's not forget while we're all here. Miss Ballard, are you ready? <laughs> On your marks, get set. <laughs> George win. All I care about is getting Gnome back for Nina. Don't worry, Nina. We'll find Gnome. Look, the totem of danger! Totem Avengers a sitting duck and Al Sheriff's a lame one. It sounds like the engine's flooded. Maybe he's working for George, helping him to win the race. Come on, girl. Uh, come on, no. Get mushing, Willard. Win it for Nina Gnome. Mush! 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 Easy, boy. There, there. Just let me lift this nasty old Avenger off. Thank you for all your help. Willard, you did it! You found Gnome, and you won! Miss Mallet, you caught the Totem Avenger! If elected sheriff, you can always count on me to bring in world-class duck detectives. Yeah! Oh, now, now, I had a lot of help uh, from my nephew Willard, uh, Sheriff Ruddy Duck, and a moose. Uh, oh, tell us, come on. Who is the Totem oh, Avenger? Someone we all know. Huh? What are you? Oh. Oh, it's Jed. Jed, Jed Merganzer. We should have known it was him. Who else would do such terrible deeds? Actually, Jed is not the real villain in this mystery. Uh, but, but, but you caught him red-winged. You shouldn't be surprised, Vera. After all, you knitted the Totem Avenger's mittens. It's a well-knitted mitten. Identical to this scarf you made. So, so I give Jed a pair of mittens for Christmas. I had no idea he was the Totem Avenger. And Arnold, did you carve and paint a pair of totem pole wings for Jed's Christmas present too? Mm. It fits. Same carving style, same paint. What? Why, this is preposterous. What possible reason would I have to... You paid Jed to be the Totem Avenger. And he did things, like steel gnome, to make Sheriff Ruddy Duck look bad. And you invited me here to solve a mystery you yourselves had created, to make you look good so people would elect you Sheriff. You, Vera, Jed, and 
and some other townsfolk weren't very happy when a group led by Sheriff Ruddy Duck got ducked and declared a nature preserve. We've all learned to live with that. Besides, your proof is nothing but but mittens and wood carvings. And don't forget flooding Sheriff Ruddy Duck's snowmobile engine so he wouldn't be able to do anything in front of all the cameras. But mittens and such are rather trivial. The real mystery here is your extraordinarily deep putting green holes. Willard discovered they're lined with quartz and pyrite, minerals commonly found near gold ore deposits. You've been drilling core samples and mean to mine your land. And if elected sheriff, no one could stop you until it was too late. <laughs> of all the most ridiculous, where on earth would I ever store core samples and mining equipment? Could I please have the keys to your garage? <gasps> Willard, did any of your wilderness research prepare you to be such a hero? No. And I learned you can't be prepared for everything, like stuffed fake polar bears, wolves who turn out to be friendly huskies, hidden snowshoe traps, freak avalanches, being dragged behind a dog sled. Well, you've learned an important ductective strategy, Willard. Expect the unexpected. Hmm? <laughs> I was expecting that.